Hello DevOps aspirant. I am happy to return with another video that will help you understand the concepts of DevOps even better. We talked about what is DevOps in our last video. I hope that you have watched the video, but if you have not, you can view the clicking on the i button. Talking this to your higher level, let's learn about the DevOps life cycle. Now let's get started. As an IT professional or Salesforce expert, it is a must for you to understand this term descriptively because it is an emerging concept that can be helped the tech industry in several ways. A DevOps life cycle is a methodology or process used by development and operations teams to deliver services and products more rapidly and efficiently. It controls the entire software life cycle from the developer end to the operations end. It also improves the connection and promotes collaboration between both departments. The DevOps life cycle consists of different phases. Phases. Operation phase, development phase, integration phase, testing phase, monitoring phase, feedback phase, and deployment phase. This is the names of DevOps lifecycle phases. But the story doesn't end here, as the crucial part remains. Get ready to learn that crucial part of DevOps lifecycle, that is seven C's. The seven C's of DevOps life cycles are continuous development, continuous integration, continuous testing, continuous deployment, continuous feedback, continuous monitoring, and continuous operation. Let's take a closer look at seven C's of DevOps. The the first C of DevOps lifecycle is continuous development. This helps to determine the vision of the software development process. It is a continuous process in which developers are required to write code whenever modifications are needed to match the project's requirements. The second C is continuous integration. It involves the development of new features and functionality or the updating of existing code. This process is helpful in spotting the defects in the code at each level during the unit testing phase. Afterwards, the code will be updated accordingly. Necessary tests are planned during this phase and this stage transforms integration into a continuous loop in which code is tested and before each commit. The third C is continuous testing. It involves automated testing to ensure the software changes are verified at each step of the pipeline. If any defect or error compiles the code is returned to the integration phase for rectification. Some of the best automation tools like Selenium, Lambda Test, etc. The fourth C is continuous deployment. Involves the configuration management process to ensure the smooth deployment of code on the servers. During this development phase, the development department delivers the code to the servers and schedule upgrades while maintaining consistent configurations. The fifth C is continuous feedback. Involves user feedback, which is examined regularly for each release to enhance future deployment. And companies can also collect the feedback using unstructured or structured methods. The sixth C is continuous monitoring. Helps the DevOps team to detect performance, bugs or issues and their underlying causes. Whenever an operations team finds a severe issue, the product or the application goes through the DevOps cycle again to find an alternative solution. The seventh and final C of DevOps life cycle is continuous operation. It is a mandatory process for minimizing planned downtime or scheduled maintenance. Developers must take the server offline to perform updates which will cost the business a large amount of money due to increased downtime. Here, continuous operations automate the required upgrade and help in application startup. Also, it reduces downtime using containerized platforms like Docker and Kubernetes. That's all about the DevOps lifecycle. Hope this video helped you to understand DevOps lifecycle better. Thank you for watching this video and we'll be back very soon with another exciting video.